Okay, well, I am just leaving the DNC. And I am hoping I'm talking loud enough that you can hear me. It's my press credentials. Um, okay, it's the last day. I haven't stayed for any of the speeches. Uh, as I don't care. Um, personally, it's just like not my thing. I don't like concerts. Why am I gonna watch speeches? That's even more boring. Um, it is been a very interesting week. Um, yeah, uh, I guess feedback. Um, being at the DNC reminds me of why I'm not partisan. Um, honestly, most people have been pretty nice. Um, but there's a lot of like pretty stereotypical what you would assume like politicking and power grabbing and posturing that goes on. Everyone's kind of like looking for the more powerful person to talk to. There's very few people that are like interested in just kind of chatting with anyone who's interested. Yeah, it's just, I don't like it. Um, I'm gonna try going to a party tonight because I haven't gone to any of the DNC parties. Um, so I'm gonna see how they kind of compare. Uh, to the cosplay parties that I went to all weekend. Um, but they like sing and dance to like <laughs> Donald Trump songs, which is just like really lame to me. Um, but there's been there's been some like good moments. There's been like two congressmen that I've like gotten to speak to and listen to that I've been genuinely like impressed by um, and quite like. Um, Joe Connor and uh, Jared Waskowitz from Florida are like the only two that I've met that I've been like, they seem really solid. Um, yeah, but the streamers had a ton of fun, IRI and Guy and um, uh, Matt Beat had a ton of fun, which is great. I'm so tired and I'm so tired of being in business clothes. I hate business clothes. They're so gross. They're not very attractive. And I'm going to meet some community members that live in Chicago for Korean barbecue. And then afterwards, I'm going to go out and party with the Dems, with the young Dems. So let's see what that's like. Uh, I have to turn this off though, because I'm about to go through security to get out. Um, and my ride is calling me. So yeah. Just the last few thoughts. Um, the security like steadily got better. Monday and Tuesday morning were like kind of cracked how bad the security was. Like I feel like people were just not checking. I think there is a lot of bad communication. It seems like the DNC staff were not ready. They didn't even have like the list of speakers ready for the first and second night until like last minute. Um, and they hit like communicated to almost nothing to press. They also did a really bad job of communicating to press like what they would and wouldn't have access to. Um, lots of overpromising, a lot of under delivering. Which is always annoying. Um, and uh, the first few days, I think it was just so like chaotic and the volunteers weren't like super prepped on what they were supposed to be doing. I saw like multiple people just like passing passes off between the fence. I feel like once I was inside, there was like, I was told media row fuck, was going to be like locked down and that only people with like a, a media pass could get in. Um, and now that is possible that I was just told incorrect information and it was definitely not true because everyone waltzed around in media row. Um, the creator lounge which we were going to we were told that if you got the creator pass you could do that but you would actually have uh, way less access to everything turns out they have way more access and a skybox and a lounge with free food um so we would have much preferred applying to the creator program than through the traditional media like um so that was really annoying would definitely be applying as a creator going forward if they even have it going forward because oh my gosh so many of these creators that came out are so stupid like just no level of like gravity for where they are and who they're around it seems like they just like don't understand 
the importance of the fact that like right now the entire democratic party is within like four city miles of each other and why security is so important and like how to be respectful to traditional media members and surrogates it was kind of wild um i'm super curious to see if they'll ever do creators again because they really kind of like rolled out the red carpet for like they were like Come here, creators. Mm, mommy loves you. Here, you can have everything you want. And they were like, great. We're going to complain still. We're going to be really entitled. We're going to not make super awesome content. Some of them made really good content. Some of them did not. Um, and also, we're not going to think about the fact that if we're live streaming, there's a good chance that some sort of internal White House person is watching your stream at any given time, which means that if you say stupid shit, they're gonna ask you to leave, Hassan, you f***ing moron. They just kicked out Hassan tonight. They, he was on the floor, they stripped his floor pass, and they're like, sorry, there's just not enough room. Which, God, the most annoying thing about Democrats is that they can't just be aggressive, okay? They can't just be like, look, you, okay? F*** you and your stupid, stupid chat. So they kicked Hassan out, and he was getting, like, super pissy. He was on the ground floor. I was watching him. I found him. Um, and then he was like bitching on stream because AOC's team stopped responding to him and a bunch of other like really big names. It is so hot. Can we have AC? <sighs> um, yeah, there's just a bunch of big names that basically like iced him out all of a sudden. Um, and uh, there's a number of things I can't share with you guys, but yeah, basically his song got like fully iced out because he was just like every delegate that he got to talk to, his chat was so nasty too. Like the most progressive, progressive politician. They were like, lib, lib, dirty lib, capitalism brained. He's melted, he's bad, they're evil, evil, evil. And it's just like, you're all retarded. Just so you guys know. Um, apparently, Gyakaku is not Korean barbecue. It's like Japanese Korean barbecue. It is. You're going to grill your own shit. I love grilling my own shit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, he got kicked out and got iced out. And he's he wasn't invited, is my understanding, by anyone within like the Democratic Party there. I think he got in because of Chank. Uh, Chank also got him a skybox and he lost access to that. And so I got kicked out of it, uh, which is just so funny. Um, but also, like, there's an element of Yatesy where it's like, should the Democrats be kicking creators out because they're not, like, towing the positive party line as much and, like, giving opportunities who do? I don't know. Like, within the party, yeah, if you want to win, but also democratically, principally, probably not. That's probably bad. Nice. Right, so that's my quick behind the scenes. Sulak, enjoy editing this. I'm not jealous of you. Bye, guys. Editor here, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and consider joining as a member for only a few dollars a month. We will be releasing videos covering topics from the private and personal to the public and political. So join Not So Erudite today on her live streamed look on life.